Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to start to extract sea salt from your ordinary clean seawater. I have this glass dish here that fits nicely on this raised portion of the wood stove. During winter, a lot of people put water on their stove because if you have 90% humidity and minus 8 Celsius outside, that translates to 15% humidity at your 20 degrees Celsius inside. So by putting water on your stove, you raise the humidity in your house. We will put seawater in there. When the water evaporates, we will have salt left over. This container takes almost this jug full, not quite. Now I already did this experiment and I filled this one up twice and let it evaporate and this was the salt I got, a little less than a cup of salt. This is after two days and one of each container full. bit of water in here now so I'm going to fill this up again and let it run with another jug full now this is my second time doing this so the first time I had a lot of salt built up around the sides but this time I thought that maybe it would be a good idea See, I have it right full now, so this salt that's building up on the sides, to take it off with the water in there, and let it go to the bottom. And why you're by it, like as you walk by it or you're tending to the fire or whatever if you're letting it uh, dry out 
just reach over and scrape the salt off the sides. That way, when you're done, all the salt will be in the bottom of your container. I put this thermoelectric fan up there and move the pan with the seawater in down here. Because up there, the water had gotten to um, 60 degrees Celsius. And down here, you can see it's boiling. Now earlier, I scraped the salt off the side. And you can see salt is building up there. So that suggests to me that at a boil, there's a lot of salt that's actually being pushed up into the air and I'm probably losing salt. So while that is good that it boiled because of course that will um, kill any pathogens. I took the wrong glove. My right arm is giving me trouble. So I can only lift with my left hand. I'll put it back up there. And let it cool down to the uh, 60 degrees again. And then I'll move that there. That stove is getting quite toasty. I'm going to turn it down a bit too. Even though I have it back up on the raised portion, it's still boiling. So maybe when it gets down low, it'll boil anyway, and I don't really have to be concerned about the it being only 65 degrees when I got it pretty much full. Now, I got this, I let it dry. Here's my glass container with quite a lot of salt in the bottom now. This is the salt from two of these full of seawater and one of these. Now, glass, you can it is quite hard actually, it's harder than steel. So you can use a scraper like this and scrape it basically the same as if you were shaving with it. And you can scrape the saw off. if it's thin. Now I'm going to change the camera to give you a close up of what I'm doing here. I've already done one of these and with just one of those jugfuls, actually I think it was two of those jugfuls, not one of these other ones. It was very difficult to get this off the bottom. With respect to the sides now, you can see it scrapes down fairly easy. Getting it off of here 
actually this is because it's still a little moist so I'm learning now like I say this is my second time so scrape this off before it's moist I brought the chisel and you know, I thought I'd have to use that let this dry completely I would never be able to get this off this easily So it didn't take much seawater to get this. So I looked around and I have this plastic lid. Apparently it's from a Kirkland brand uh, salad. So that's from the salads that uh, Walmart sells. I'm going to lay it out on that and let it dry some more. But I got my one cup measure to see how much salt I have. So that's one cup. Two cups of salt is what I have there now. I'm going to spread it out on this and I'm going to bring this upstairs to dry where there's a lot less dust. We're in the basement now and as you know it's not a finished basement so there's a lot of dust around. I will bring this upstairs and let it finish drying out before I can store it properly. A few points to conclude with. First, you get your seawater away from urban areas, even a large town where you might have sewer or industrial runoff or agriculture runoff. That should be avoided. Secondly, if you have things floating in your seawater, you need to filter it first, which I suggest maybe a coffee filter, to ensure there is no pathogens in the water. You bring it to a boil, let it boil for a couple of minutes, and then you just leave it on your wood stove and let it evaporate. You need to use a non-reactive pan because this is salt and it will react with any reactive metal. So stainless steel, enamel, or glass. I used glass because I thought that would be the best and it works very well so I probably won't be trying the others. When you 
go to scrape out your salt from your extracting container. If the salt is still a little moist, it will come out much easier. If you let it go till it's completely dry, it will be very hard. And then you'll, as I said, probably need a chisel or something. But be very careful because glass or enamel, that's breakable. That's it for extracting sea salt. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Hit that uh, thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.